Before I start this video, don't hear what I'm not saying, okay? I'm gonna say it a couple of times because I don't need people going on a dry fast and blaming me for it. This is not a dry fast. The, what I did in this last since Wednesday was I cut my water intake way down. I wanted to see what would happen. There's a couple of things, uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. One of them is over the last like year, I've been reading about why you pee yellow, even if you're drinking a lot of water. Ever since I did that Durian Rider video, I was drinking a lot of water. There was days, like today is supposed to be 96 degrees outside. I think that's about 38 or 39 Celsius, somewhere in that region. So I would drink a lot of water. Sometimes if I was out outside a lot, which tends to be like most, a lot of my day, I'll be outside. I would drink upwards of four gallons of water and I'm like, how am I still peeing clear or uh, yellow? How is this possible? And I've been going through this for this past year ever since I did that interview, or maybe two years since I did that interview. I forget how long ago it was. And I'm like, this, something ain't right here. Like, how do you drink this much water? And then you're still peeing yellow. It just doesn't make any sense. Now, I would have random days where I was peeing clear, but it was very few, far and few between. And then I started piecing together in my last couple of videos that have been talking about water retention. I'm like, I wonder if I'm actually drinking too much water. And I am just... Electrolytes are getting screwed up and I'm peeing yellow and everything's just gone to shit and you know, hell in a handbasket, whatever. I'm gonna cut back my water. So my, my previous, I'm gonna go slightly over my previous routine. I'm gonna go over my new routine. Now this is only five days, this could change, I don't know. My old routine was I would get up, I would drink a, a liter of water. That would usually trigger going to the bathroom. I would go to the bathroom. I would come back out. I would drink another liter of water. And then I would have uh, some of the juice that I buy from Trader Joe's and I would bounce on my trampoline for X amount of time, 20, 30 minutes, somewhere in that region. And then I would come um, off the rebounder and I would usually drink like another liter of water give all that time to kind of re, you know, the, the stomach acid to kind of reestablish itself. Cause you know, if you know how chemistry works, if you're gonna drink water, even if it's a pH of five, and it's going into a stomach acid that's supposed to be a pH of two, that is gonna take a long time to get back down to two. So I would give it a long time to get it back down to a pH of two. I would eat, I would give that time to digest and then I would drink more water. And it, it was just a lot of water. There was some days where, I mean, there would be hours of just drinking water. And I'm like, something ain't right here. So I cut that off. I cut that off. And then at night I would have another liter of water and then go to bed. It was adding up to two to four gallons a, a day. So I cut that back. So my new routine is I still wake up. I still have a liter of water. And that's it. And then I, I do take magnesium. So a lot of people ask about supplements. The only supplements that I actually take are magnesium, uh, vitamin K2, and vitamin D3. Now I don't take as much vitamin D this time of year because it's act the sun actually knows where we are now. Like I can actually see the sun, I'm looking at it right now. It's for half of the year, you know, the sun doesn't know who we are. It's, it goes off wherever it goes. Especially if, you're, if you ride bike or if you do any kind of sport whatsoever. If you're not taking magnesium, I don't understand why. I'm gonna actually link that down below. Go check it out, it's like 20. 20 bucks or something like that. So I would do that. So I would do the liter of water, a third of magnesium, and then I uh, was been juicing. So what I've been doing is I've been buying watermelons. I cut the watermelon in half. I'll eat out, I'll eat it like it's a bowl. And then um, whatever's left the next morning, I'll cut off the green part and then I juice everything that's, that's left. And then I'll have the other half and then I'll have that shell left and then I just keep rotating. So what I've been doing is I've been putting I don't know, like an eighth of a tea t tablespoon or so of Celtic salt in it, the gray Celtic salt, and then that'll dissolve in there and it, it kind of disperses. So I'll have a, just a couple of sips of that. I'll do my cellar size for 20, 30 minutes. I'll have the rest of it. Then I have a watermelon after that. I don't even drink a, a water after the cellar sizer anymore. I'll have the juice instead. I have watermelon. And then I'll start uh, with fruit. And then m most days I have cooked food. There's some days that it's just straight up raw the entire day. Most of the time I have cooked food. I'm actually gonna talk about that in a couple of minutes, what I've noticed with that. It, it's, it's been crazy. Like I've been peeing like crazy. It's all been clear-ish. Like at, at worst, it's like a, 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 like a straw color. 
but most of the time it's clear. I'm kind of, it's like just coming out too, like crazy. And I started thinking maybe all this water retention that I've been talking about is just because I drink so much. It's like, well, we might as well store it, you know, it goes into survival mode. And I'm actually going to be talking, uh, hopefully making a video about that later on this week about survival mode, your kidneys and water. It's been, it's been crazy. And then I'll have fruit the rest of the day. And I, it's, it's even more weird to me because I'll have my, my mouth is almost dry. I can almost taste salt in my mouth. It was like that Barbara O'Neill talks about this and I'm like, you know, woo woo. Cause a lot of stuff she says is woo woo. But I have been noticing that my mouth will be like dry. Like you think you're thirsty, but I'm peeing clear, like clear. The straight up, like, like I, I don't even flush the toilet half the time. Like if I'm, you know, I just don't even flush the toilet half the time because I'm like, this is like a waste. Maybe that's TMI. I don't know, but, and, but then I've noticed that if I don't drink another liter of water before dinner, that is where things get in, in trouble because starches, especially rice, uh, potatoes don't do this as much, but the rice, if I don't drink a liter of water before having rice, I will pee straight up almost orange afterwards. It's almost like, should you actually be eating rice? kind of thing. Now, if I drink a liter of water beforehand, it's like a tan um, after that. So, but potatoes, on the other hand, don't have as much of an effect. It'll go from clear to like a dark tan after potatoes, but after rice, it's crazy. Now, I'm not saying to, to hate on rice because obviously there's huge populations that have lived and thrived off of rice, but I am saying that in my experience anyways, like go do this for yourself. Don't take what I'm saying. I don't believe in reading, you know, like studies are great and all that kind of stuff. If you really believe in a study, go do it on yourself. Be your own test subject. Unless it's, you know, gonna harm you in some way or that test is some kind of thing that you can't buy or can't afford, you know, obviously don't do it then. But if it's just something simple like this, go do this on yourself. Go see how this works on yourself. I've noticed pretty big results just in the last five days. Now I haven't done a weight uh, t test or anything. I haven't seen how much I weigh, but I have noticed that that peeing clear has been so much easier drinking less water. I Most days, I don't even think I hit a liter or a, a gallon of water. I probably get close, nowhere near what I was before, like just obsessively drinking water. You know, people have talked about this in the past, but I don't know. I guess you get somebody's voice in your head and you're like, well, no, I got to do it this way, but try it out for yourself. You know, try it out for yourself. I've, I haven't noticed any performance dips when I'm out on the bike. Now, if I do go ride bike, that's the days that I'll go over uh, a gallon of water because I have two, two 20 ish ounce bottles on my bike and I usually will drink most of the two bottles on days like this. Tomorrow I, I'm scheduled to go on a pretty long bike ride. It's supposed to be 96 degrees tomorrow again, or between 96 and 100 degrees. The ride I'm doing is completely, is, I'm gonna be riding in the city, so it's, there's no trees. So I'm going to be in the direct sunlight the entire time. Uh, so I will definitely drink a lot more water tomorrow than I probably will today. I don't think I'm going to ride today at all. So anyway, that is my what has been happening, what I've been doing. Test this out on yourself. Now, if I see this completely backfires and this might completely backfire when it's not watermelon season, this could literally just be because I've had watermelon in two different forms every day. This could be, I don't know, right? I don't know it, you know, cause I did start this during watermelon season. If this was during November, I might get completely different results. And if I do, I'll have to adjust accordingly. That's all you can do. But right now during watermelon season, if you're in a region where it's watermelon season, maybe try this out. Now, I'm not also, I'm not like one of these raw vegans that dies from dehydration because they refuse to drink water because they think they were supposed to get all of our water from fruit and vegetable. That is just nonsense. Human beings have built establishments near water the entire existence of us for a reason. We need water. We need water. We don't live without it. We're made 72-ish percent water. 
We need water. You can't just not drink water. <clears throat> but I don't know that we need as much as I thought. Now this could backfire, like I said, maybe on this coming Wednesday, you know, it just doesn't work anymore and I'll make a video about that. That is what I've been doing. That is how I've been doing it. Uh, comments, questions uh, on this down below. If you know somebody that's maybe in the situation, share the video. I can't think any anything else to add to it. Now, if you're somebody who only eats starch, this probably is not going to apply to you as much. But test it out still. It's <laughs> it may. I don't know. I don't know. That I, I don't. I cannot live just off starch. I just cannot do it, I, especially during watermelon season. Well, this is up. You know, this is just what I'm done. Test it out. Anyway, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one. Yeah.